सिक्स पी एम असलम दिस इज रेडियो पाकिस्तान द न्यूज रेड बाय दमन समान दिडलाइंस The OIC countries have reaffirmed their full support for the right of self-determination to Palestinian and Kashmiri people. The Minister for Planning says nine industrial zones will be set up in the country under CPAC during the next two to three years. Khaybar Pakhtunkhwa governor has said the eradication of polio from the country is the top priority of the government. In occupied Kashmir the Indian troops and the continued state terrorism martyred 10 more people in Shopian district today and now the news in detail the organization of stami cooperation has called for resolving the lingering disputes and conflicts through peaceful means the call was made in the declaration issued today after the two day 45th session of the council of foreign ministers of the oic held in dhaka the member states agreed that the oic peace and security architecture and the good offices of the secretary general need to be activated for the purpose the declaration says oic countries reaffirm their principal support for the rights of the palestinian peoples including the right to self determination and to the independence and sovereignty of the state of palestine on the pre 1967 borders with with al quds al sharif its capital they also reaffirm full solidarity with the people of occupied kashmir who have been struggling for their inalienable right to self determination The Foreign Secretary Temina Janjwa says without resolving disputes the dreams of economic growth and stability in the region and beyond will remain unfulfilled she said this in her speech at the 45th session of the OIC Council of Foreign Ministers in Dhaka Bangladesh with the theme Islamic values for sustainable peace solidarity and development Temina Janjwa reiterated Pakistan's commitment to continue efforts to achieve this goal The Minister for Planning and Development Hasan Iqbal has said nine industrial zones will be set up in the country under CPAC during the next 2 to 3 years which will generate huge employment opportunities in an exclusive interview with our Lahore correspondent Imran Hassan he said with the launch of the China Pakistan economic corridor the political ties between Pakistan and China have been turned into a true economic relationship The minister said coal power projects of 1320 megawatt capacity each have been completed in Sahiwal and Port Qasim that are generating electricity. The governor Khaibur Pakhtunkhwa Iqbal Zafar Chagra says eradication of polio from the country is the top priority of the present government. Addressing a function of the Rotary Club International in Islamabad today he appreciated the efforts of the non-governmental organizations for eradication of polio from the country the governor said federal government is actively engaged in improving socio-economic condition of the people of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa and the federally administered tribal areas in occupied kashmir the indian troops in their ongoing acts of state terrorism martyred 10 more youths in shopian district today those martyred also include a kashmir university professor dr mohammad rafi but with the latest killings the death toll in the indian repression during the past 36 hours has risen to 14 according to kashmir media service five youths were shot dead by the troops during a cordon and search operation in badgam area of shopian district this morning The killings led to massive anti-India protests in the district. The troops resorted to pellet and bullet firing and tear gas shelling, injuring scores of protesters, many of them critically. Five injured later succumbed to their injuries in the hospitals. In Afghanistan, at least 20 people were killed in latest incidents of violence across the country today. 13 people were killed and 29 others injured in an explosion at a mosque in eastern province of Khost in the second incident seven people were killed when their vehicle struck a roadside bomb in northern Faryab province North Korea has warned the United States about using pressure and military threats against it a foreign ministry official said the United States is deliberately provoking the north by suggesting sanctions will not be lifted until it gives up nuclear weapons 
And that is the end of this news bulletin. For more news and analyses, log on to our website, radio.gov.bk, and you can also watch the live video streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com forward slash Radio Pakistan News Official.